Hi, this is Tina from A Wild Plan, and I'm going to show you some little tips and tricks on using stickers in A Wild Plan planners. And first of all, when you get a planner from A Wild Plan, I'm usually going to provide you with a, a, at least a spread of starter stickers that you can use. And these have already been individually placed and put into the sticker page for you, so I've kind of cut a lot of the little steps um, that you usually get with sticker pages. Um, so what I'm going to show you is just first of all how to move, rotate, scale, that sort of thing. But say you want to take a pick one of your stickers and move it to one of the other pages. What you're going to do in the upper in the upper menu here is to click the lasso. And what I've noticed is once you've already had your stickers places and placed and things on a, on a page, all you really need to do is just draw a circle around at least a portion of that sticker and then you click in the middle of that lassoed area until you see this little men this menu and what you want to do is always hit copy. So now it's on your clipboard. So now you can go back to the no pencil thing in the upper in the top menu. You want to make sure that you're in the no pen area. Click the month that you want to go to and, and pin your sticker to. You're going to click and hold until you see that menu and then you want to select paste. So now you have your sticker on the page that you want it to be on, and you can move it around and place it to where you need to. Um, you can always scale and rotate this later, so you can just click it anywhere, really. Click outside the lasso. And so for moving and scaling and rotating, you want to click on the sticker itself and hold, and hit edit. Then you get like these lovely little handles where the green is for rotating, and say you wanted to rotate and then you wanted to scale it up a little bit. I always make my stickers just slightly larger than they need to be. So if you have some flexibility for uh, playing around with the stickers and making sure that they're what you want. And then once you get it to where you like it and you want to place it, just again, click outside the sticker and there you go.